I am with Rudrashish Majumdar. Is that your name correctly pronounced? Yeah, absolutely. That's already better than I expected to go. Yeah. Uh, he's here because I wanted to ask him what it's like to start in Bollywood. Yeah. I think she has done her bit. I'll give you my introduction. So basically, <laughs> I am uh, Major Rudrashish Majumdar retired. So I served in the Indian Army for like seven years and now currently I'm pursuing my career in Bollywood. And uh, I've done a movie called Chichore and uh, 14th April my movie is coming that is Jersey with Shahid Kapoor, do watch it. Also I've done a web series called Avrod, it's a web series in Sony Live and uh, that's not out yet, it's going to come. And currently I'm working in a feature film uh, for film festivals and I hope that I keep working and you keep seeing me. So that's the best intro that I can give because she suddenly did extremely good in my intro she was like and the first question she asked me was i mean i was expecting first question would be like after my intro is like okay so how did you get into bollywood but her, her first question is who are you awesome yeah i mean so the, the day i become a professional interviewer you'll you'll hear about it so because you the way are, you are going so because i'm expecting you to be a professional interviewer very soon so because you wanted that question how did you get into bollywood this is a very interesting question so basically uh, I have always had multiple passions in my life. I wanted to do so many things and uh, first thing that I did, I mean you since you are so much aware about India, I've talked to her and I think she has got a great knowledge about Indian history as well and uh, does know a lot about India. So you must be aware about cricket as well. Cricket. Yeah, yeah. So basically I always wanted to be a cricketer and I wanted to play for the country but somehow I went into a military school and uh, I was uh, there and uh, I always wanted to represent the, represent the national flag. And uh, my first passion and first love was cricket. I'll be very, very honest. It was not joining the army. And uh, it was later on when I realized that after going to that military school that, you know, I was not in that zone to pursue my uh, career in cricket because uh, for, to become a professional cricketer, you have to play cricket every day of your life and like hours and hours. And I was not doing that. <laughs> and so, so I just realized that okay I can't do that so now what do I do to represent the country and that is when I realized that you know my school was specially meant to send people to the army air force and the navy so I decided that okay I'll go there and uh, I'll just join the forces so that's when I decided to join the forces and okay that's about the forces now I forget forgot the question only <laughs> why how did you come to Bollywood happens with me a lot of time and you know that why so, am I even here yeah <laughs> I'll so, just yeah. go and you, you talk to the camera for five minutes. No, 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 <laughs> don't do that. I, okay, so, 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 so having multiple passions while also staying in the army, I realized that, okay, I should be, uh, you know, I had a passion for acting because in school and in uh, my various academies, I was doing a lot of uh, drama, theater, mm -hmm. and I developed that passion and I just realized that, oh my God, this is so cool. So due to that, I, I never knew because Bollywood is a far away thing for a, a person from a middle class family in like sure. India. Mm. It's very, very difficult because you just don't know how to get in there. So that's the question. How did you get in yes, there? Yes, now that's the interesting. I wanted to come to this part so that you again ask me the question and now I'll tell you. Passion, <laughs> love for it. So while staying in the army, I learned only one thing mm. that no matter what, wherever I am put, I can just survive. Mm -hmm. And I'm not afraid to go and explore the unexplored. Mm -hmm. That is when I decided. I always had the passion, but I did not know that I would go, I can go and survive in Bollywood because it's a world that we just know of, but we have never seen people mm -hmm. from the middle class families. And that's when I decided that, okay, it's time that I follow the, I follow another passion that I have. Now that I've already served seven years for the country, I've done my bit for the country. And now I want to follow another passion. That's why I came into Bollywood and in 2018, I just came to Mumbai and started off in Bollywood. So let me let me. That's ask, how I started. That's how I started. Let me ask now. that differently. Did you like answer casting calls? Were you like noticed? How how like uh, how did you get into it? That's very interesting because nobody knew me. Okay. Nobody called me either. Okay. Kisi ne bula. And. Nobody, I had nobody in Bollywood, so I just uh, knew one thing, I uh, had to go there and find out what's in store with me. Yes, before that, I did uh, theatre, okay. I did uh, professional acting course from an acting institute called Kishore Namit Kapoor Acting Institute. Okay. 
because i believe that wherever you are going you have to go with a certain amount of preparation you just can't go there and be like okay mujhe mauka de do mujhe acting aati hai because i'll tell you one thing in india i think including me 95% of us think that we can act better than the actor and we can play better cricket than the cricketer who is representing the country so that's a fact and uh, i think uh, even if you want to do something you have to prepare yourself so i did all these professional courses theater and all and then i came to bombay and then i started auditioning auditioning because you have a lot of casting uh, companies in uh, bombay where you can just go and give your profile and ask them to audition you so i decided to go and for months i just went there asked them for like can i get some work or do you have anything for me and suddenly there was nothing and being a newcomer you know it's very difficult because they have not seen your work yeah. they don't know what kind of quality do you have mm-hmm. so they are not really willing because it's their job and they want to you know they have so much pressure on them so they don't want to be like okay you come and waste my 5 10 minutes yeah because for me i am only one guy because for them there are thousands of new guys coming every day so they can't give 2 minutes to those thousand guys every day you have to understand so you don't have to keep grudges against them that they don't give us chances they will give you but you have to be persistent about it and i was about it <laughs> so yeah so i kept going so one day it happened that one of the casting director he just saw me and he just called me and he's like uh, okay i'll just tell you something i see you coming every day mm-hmm. but honestly it does not help <laughs> see you every day you're just annoying us yeah. stop stay yeah. home <laughs> yeah it was like that it's like it does not help you coming every day does not help you just have to send your profile to us if we want to really cast you somewhere and we feel that you fit somewhere we'll call you just mm-hmm. trust us so this is the email id send your email and don't come every day i mean i have seen you and now i notice that you are there every single day <laughs> and so yes that was the first time i got a chance to speak to a casting director and he was extremely nice and polite uh, and i just told him he, he basically told you stay home we don't want you but very nice and polite no 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 he very very nice very sanskari okay, way very sanskari way but <laughs> but see that's what optimistic and positive people do they take out <laughs> chances from nothing So anybody would have felt that oh he told me not to come but you know how i felt i felt okay now we come twice me. a day now <laughs> no, now no, 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 no. that that would he will throw me out of his office so i was like now he knows me yeah he remembers my face at least mm-hmm. seeing me every day so what i did i just told him that okay sir i want to tell you something and he said what i said sir every day you come here and you audition people mm-hmm. and after going back home you must be feeling that you are doing extremely good and you are doing what you want to do mm-hmm. and he was like yeah and i'm like you are satisfied about it and he's like yes so then i said sir i don't come here for you to audition me i come here to tell myself that every day i'm getting up and every day i'm going to every office to ask for work maybe i'm not getting it maybe today is not my day but when i sleep i know that i've done my bit for the day i am satisfied doing that and he was so happy about it he just said okay do one thing give me your profile i'll call you for an audition <laughs> and he recommended me to another person for an audition i went for that audition i cleared it and i got my first ad through that uh, what, audition what was it it was morris garage a hector the car i have no idea what that is so i worked in that ad and after that i got six ads and then i went for an open audition where i cleared and uh, i got chichore and since then yeah since then there has been a long struggle i would say not struggle really a i mean a good time including struggles as well because uh, many people think that you get work and then you are like okay i'll get work i'll keep yeah. getting work does not happen does not happen you are not unless you fucking sharuk khan you are not sharuk khan so you're not going to get work until and unless you prove that you are right there so yeah uh, i got chichore waited for like months to audition again year probably i got jersey but I broke my foot, but I was lucky enough that the project got delayed, and again I was selected for Jersey. So I did do in Jersey. I did work in Jersey. You did it in crutches. They hit you under a table, and, and no one noticed that you had a broken. No, no, no. Because the audition was done, and they told us to join the shoot. Yeah. But I had a broken finger, and I just did not inform anybody <laughs> because I was like, okay, if it's if it has if they have to find out, they have to find out in the last day maybe, and I'll wait for them till the time they call me because if I tell them now. they will just put me you yeah. know out and uh, i was like okay let's let's wait for it and i got into it i mean that's how i got jersey <laughs> and next uh, i again so now now that i thought that okay now i'm doing extremely good mhm 
कोविड कोविड हैपेंड एंड but then also i did not uh, you know I, i i thought that i went home because i was not having the money to stay in mumbai though i had a friend who told me to stay but there was no work at that time the industry was shut down and there was no work there was no audition happening all was happening from home so i was like okay let me go home i came home and i was like okay so what should i do you know rather than sitting at home and doing nothing let's work on my acting skills i did that personally and also i thought that okay maybe something i can do you know just grow try to grow in on social media that's the that's when the idea to grow on social media stuck me and luckily uh, one of the official sites of the army just tweeted that uh, he is he is from the army and he's done <laughs> this movie and that's how the defense pages came to know they shared my profile and i am really thankful to those pages and that's how i grew uh, I, i mean i got a lot of followers and then and then there is also a funny story the funny part is like i was doing this uh, on instagram and i never knew that you know i knew that youtube pays but i was not, never active on youtube i was like i will not do youtube instagram i am getting my followers and i have a crowd to attend to but some of the guys messaged me and uh, they put they wrote in my dm they were like uh, sir we are from far away villages and uh, here the data consumption of instagram is more Uh, than YouTube. than YouTube yeah oh my yeah youtube and what happened thing? what happened so so they wanted to listen to my videos Achha. even if they can't see me Achha. so in youtube you can go into 144 yeah, yeah. and make uh-huh. it like you can just listen yeah. so they consume the least basically. yeah uh-huh. so it's like uh, least data but you can listen to what i'm saying so they were like sir you you share a lot of videos we want to hear you there are so many videos related to the defense forces and we want to hear but we don't have the data and whenever the data finishes we don't have the money for those data So I was like, okay, what I will do is like I'll put this in YouTube. Will that be fine for you? They were like, yes, sir. I, we would be very happy. So it was like four to five guys who just asked me. So for those four to five guys, I started putting videos in YouTube, and today I have subscribers in YouTube as well, and I'm earning very less, but I'm earning through YouTube as well. You're earning through YouTube. Yeah, I'm not monetized. <laughs> ah! I don't have I don't have four thousand watch hours. My monetization, <laughs> uh, my my monetization is I can afford uh, one packet of milk every day. Woof. That's the kind of money I'm earning yeah, on YouTube right now. How much does how much does milk cost in India? Twenty five rupees. <laughs> I earn around six to seven thousand per uh, three to four months. So I think it it goes up to twenty five thousand maybe a year. Sure. So that's how I'm earning. But but yeah, it I just grows. Zero. <laughs> I earn zero. Better. Subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so I hope she earns at least. If not twenty five, twelve rupees per day. Yes, please. So no, I would like, I would like you guys to make me earn five rupees per day. That's my, that's my dream in life. Earn five rupees per day. So where, where were we? So, so this is how it happened, Bollywood. And uh, now I'm, I'm working, and I think, uh, I'm looking, looking forward to work bigger. Like now that I've got the platform and I'm getting a lot of auditions, but I am now looking forward to work bigger in bigger characters. Are you currently making a living out of Bollywood? Yes, yes, I certainly am, but it's 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 like it's very minimal because the uh, I mean uh, the money in Bollywood is good, but uh, obviously when you don't have regular work and when you are struggling, like when you do a project and then you are waiting for your uh, next project and there is a long gap in between, it certainly becomes a lot of struggle, and uh, that's why many people keep doing works every day. But uh, that's totally fine for them but for me i just uh, i think that every act i mean as a person i want to grow in every character that i do if i have done something i want to grow in my next character so that's why i am looking forward to bigger characters and suddenly in the latest movie that i am doing i'm doing a character that's totally opposite to me and i would love that that's going to be out in on the film festivals and then maybe somewhere if it does well in the film festivals i hope so it does So if it does I think that uh, you know you could you guys can see me in a big character so that's how it is Do you have a favorite character to play? Favorite? Like do you have a favorite type of character or is it you will take like obviously at, at the phase that you are right now I think you will take anything but it's like yes. do you have a favorite? Yes yes I would love to uh, play uh, you know the characters I would mention few of them I think one of them would be of an army officer because i think that's what i have been and i would like to pull it off yeah in the best possible way because i i think there are certain 
things that I can add in those characters of being an army officer that maybe people would be really surprised to see that yeah these are things these are the characteristic traits which are there in an army officer maybe not always portrayed because we have certain image of an army yeah. officer and I want to break that image and play the character in a way which is entirely like the most realistic in the most realistic way and of course I want to I am a big fan of cricket so I want to play some cricketer someday I'm waiting for the day when I become famous and some <laughs> biopic is being made on some cricketer and I am the cricketer in that so something on cricket and yes one thing that I'm really interested in is a negative shade I just want to play a negative character because my energy has always been very high positive and I want to I mean I really want to explore a side where I can get into the skin of a dark or a shady character and honestly the character that I am currently playing he is sort of dark maybe not that dark but he is dark and shady and i just hope that i can pull it off so yeah that's that's those are my ranges of character that i'm wanting to play and then anything that comes my way because i think uh, as an actor i would like to explore anything and everything that is possible for me to explore and uh, that's why i love acting because every day you are living a different not every day i mean whenever you're doing a project you're living a different character mm -hmm. and you actually actually if you can like slowly that now that i'm learning the process and i'll keep learning all throughout my life now i realize that you know if you can feel different from what you are on set mm -hmm. that means you are becoming somebody else on the set on set that's that's really interesting is there Happens. some is there something that you would not do in a movie Or like let, let's take let's take porn porn let's start with that let's get that out of the way quickly and then we move on to other other stuff no i won't do porn is there anything else that you won't do i won't do like in a movie yeah no, no, not in real life, life. <laughs> oh okay. no no in a, in a movie is there anything that you won't do in a movie haven't thought about it i think uh for me uh any character that i get yeah i if i i want to be convinced that I am getting into it. I can get into it. If I feel that there is something that I can't get into it, I would want someone else to do it better than me rather than not justifying the character. That's something. So if I feel really comfortable doing uh, any kind of character and I feel that yes, I will pull it off with conviction, I'll go for it. That's how it is. And and I think it will keep happening because uh, I'm in a very new stage. I mean, people are acting for like years now yeah. and I'm I'm still learning so I think I'll keep rediscovering discovering myself every day and understand that what kind of characters I can play and maybe every kind of character I play but there has to be conviction in at least me that yes mm -hmm. I can do this right. then I'll do it yeah. right. I think that's all I wanted to add do you have anything there to ask do you have anything to add add yeah do you have anything yeah, I that can, I haven't I can... asked that you want to talk about Ah no I think I have almost talked about everything and uh, I I think we can I can uh, tell you a really funny story sure hey to hear Rudra's funny bollywood stories please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell the video is coming out really soon don't forget to like and comment and of course follow Rudra on Instagram and subscribe to him on YouTube the links are in the description oh and also go and watch Jersey you have to it's the law I fucking hate doing intros. Okay. I fucking hate doing like YouTube intros. Okay. Who are you? <laughs> okay. So so when are we when are we starting just tell me. No. Okay. Chat, let's go. Who are you? Why are you here? <laughs>